Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So today I thought we'd do some fun little entry in our sketchbook using some like watercolor, of course. Uh, a little watercolor doodle kind of sketch. We're going to be painting in a splotch and we're going to be painting on top. We're adding more detail. We're using a little ink with a fountain pen or a pen. You don't have to use it. Playing with color. These are complementary colors with blues and oranges, blush tones, all that fun stuff. If you're kind of like Oh my god, trying to get back in the swing of things and being on vacation for a while and now you want to know what the heck should I paint? I thought I'd do a fun loose idea. I give you a reference photo here so you can look at the photos for seashells, but you know, you might have shells in your house and you can just paint that. Um, the colors could be changed up. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. Just going over some fun little ways to create these, this, this kind of look, like off registered kind of doodle shell look. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Like I said, this is just a fun, loose tutorial to get you back in the groove of things. If you haven't been painting for a while, I know a lot of people have been, you know, at the holidays, kind of just sitting around. And if you've got new paints and you want to play with them, and we're just play, painting in our sketchbook. So this is, doesn't have to require real expensive paper. You know, I like all the hard edges we see in this kind of paper. So without further ado, let's get painting. All right, so for this one, I'm just gonna go over some supplies. I'm using my Hammond Mill sketchbook. Um, I have reference to this in all my supplies on M's on the uh, description box. I gave you guys a reference photo today just to show you like shapes of seashells, you know, and you don't get bogged down on looking exactly like the picture. You just get the basic shape of it, right? So here we have this little shape right here of a seashell, you just kind of outline and kind of curl in the shape. You don't, you know, everyone knows what a starfish kind of looks like, but you don't have to make it that perfect little size. You can make it longer. It's kind of like a scallop shell that's missing kind of the bottom, but little ridges and you put the little ridges down here. So really just kind of simple shell shapes. That's why I picked out this photo. This is like a clam shell. Right, and they have all these little patterns, but you can just go like this for a simple clam pattern, right? And these like little, I don't know, spiral kind of shell. So picture it's kind of like a longer triangle and then you kind of, just little spirals kind of going in here. So just don't take it to heart that it has to look exactly like that. You can just kind of figure out, there is no conch shell in here, but that's fine. Oh, actually this one's kind of a conch shell kind of like a triangle on top. It looks like a weird triangle, you know, like you get like a triangle conch shell here and they kind of come down. And now we say like they have like a little, like a teardrop. So here's a teardrop, have a line connecting to it and just have these little lines going like that. You can make up your own shells. Nobody's gonna know. I'm sure you have shells in your house. If you go into the beach, just look at the shells. This is a fun exercise on, um, just doing some kind of simple doodles with color, right? And so there's different ways I would do it. You can draw them in first or you can paint them in and then add the shapes later. So we're going to do that. We're going to draw, just mix up some colors into some little splotches and then kind of draw in the shell and then add some more detail. So I'm taking my number 12 aqua elite brush and I'm going to make some colors that, I mean, it can be all blues and you know, some nice pretty blue colors. I'm gonna do some of the colors that you see. Oh, <laughs> paint got all over my brush already. <laughs> um, you see these beautiful blush tones and these particular shells. But listen, get creative. Do it blues if you want. So blush tones, I'm gonna grab my, this is like a bright rose color, got a little bit of cadmium yellow deep. That's a nice blushy kind of color. Get that little pink if you want. And also I'm loosening up some um, front umber. You can see some, oh, there's some blue there. <laughs> um, grab some ultramarine blue, mix that with the front umber. I'm playing around with the grays and the blues and the peaches, all that stuff. So I can take this nice pretty blush tone. This is fairly wet. And this paper doesn't, isn't, is okay with super wet, but I'm gonna try and get this a little bit less wet. And make it a little thicker so it's not as as a 
it's going to buckle up. So here we go. We're just going to put down some color. Just like that. A little splotch, right? Maybe I'll add a little brown and such and such in there. I've got that blue color tone. I'm picturing like what kind of shells I'll have here. Maybe I'll have that spiral one kind of kind of coming here. Just throwing down some colors and some shapes. Blue, mixed in with the pink. Not really caring about if it looks great or not. These little shapes. I mixed in these other colors of the blush. You see, and just kind of like playing around where I can put some of the, it's me the starfish. Look at, you can already see the star there. Go back in and add this pretty color. See, I'm just doing this really loose. I've mixed up some ultramarine blue again with that orange. You can have more blue tones without having to be disturbing the color. So maybe I'll put something blue over in here. So they just look like splotches for now, which is kind of what I'm going for. You know, and then I'll fill it in in a bit. In a bit. This is what you call it, kind of like a doodle. Mm, splotchy kind of shapes. You can kind of picture what the shape would be. Maybe just throw in a circle and you know you're gonna add that pretty kind of snail looking shell. So that's all I'm doing right now. It's just putting in these splotches. You can put it on the other side too. I'm gonna go across the page. Add more yellow on some of these. Get creative. See? And we're going to go back in. We're going to paint in our shells and add different things. So I'm picturing the long one here. Maybe a starfish here. Just going across. I'm going to add more pink tone on this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and play around with adding on all these colors. See that? Just all these little colors I kind of mixed up all in my palette here. Give me purple tones, kind of some burnt umber, brown tones. Something over in here. And now we're just going to let this baby dry. And then we're going to come back and we're going to add outlines of the seashells and then add some details from there. That's what this fun is all about. Thinking of new ways to be creative with your watercolor. So now that that's dry, you can go back in with, oops, <laughs> pencil. Now I'm not going to put it exactly in the center of what I drew here for the starfish. I'd kind of come onto the, like a little over to the right. So it's like off register, you know, and here's that spiral one that we talked about. That one goes there. You could do the little snail one. Coming here, you know, the one that looks like a clam, kind of coming out here. Um, this one, oh, this one looks, looks like a conch shell, kind of right here. So you can play around with, you know, what shells you have seen in this picture, or even other ones that you actually have in your possession, right? There was coral in this one, there was all kinds of kind of fun shells to play around with. So you kind of pencil in, I'm using a 2H pencil. You don't have to pencil in, by the way, either. And we're gonna play around with using, um, I have a fountain pen. I love this fountain pen, it's like, and very expensive, it's like $15. This is a watercolorist that I love that uses a real expensive one. This one I found pretty cheap and it works pretty well. Um, and also this is in the description box. So now I splashed in my color. I might grab a skinnier brush at this point. I might grab my Princeton Velvet Touch Series 8. And so we can go in and grab the same similar paints. I've got the peak, um, burnt umber, and I'm gonna add some paints gray to that. We've got this ultramarine blue. So we've got to accept some browns and some grays. We could take this beautiful blush tones. My brush is a little dirty, so let me clean this off. So the pink with the little yellow. So this is bright rose. I'm getting this blushier tone. And use it like a, like a pen. Use your paintbrush like a pen. Right, you can just outline, see? Loose, I have broken lines here. 
you know, you can add more depth by pushing down, add little patterns that you saw. This is just that simple. You can, you can go ahead and add some browns. I see I'm adding some browns, some more depth in here. I'm keeping it kind of pretty though. I don't want to get too bogged down in dark color tones. There was that starfish, right? Just outline that color. Just really simple. I'm going pretty fast. You see that? It's just a simple outline. You can go in and just dab in little marks or you could have filled it in a little bit. Doesn't have to be an outline, just like I did there. You can actually fill it in. All right, and let that dry and go back and add more tonality, more detail, all that fun stuff. Here's this blue. I'm gonna mix up with some of the brown. See, you can just go put out lines like this. get a little deeper with the color. So blue with paints gray with brown can go back in and get even deeper. It's up to you. It can be outlined. It could be filled in. I kind of like this combination. So I might do something like that here. Fill this little shell in. See, leaving the outline of the pencil, you can still see some of that pencil. I'll go back in and I'll get it's more depth color with that one. This one, you know, was a like I said, the picture was all blush tones, but I changed it with blues and some browns. So this is ultramarine blue. And here's that spiral one. See, just pushing the color. And you see that little spiral kind of pretty seashell. It's see how it's off register from the little blob that I painted there. I can paint another little kind of clam shell and I'll fill this one in also and then I'll add some depth with darker tones and some lines. So I've got that blue color right here. I'm going to go back in and add some browns. I can take some orange because it's the opposite color and go right in here and that will make it nice and give it some depth of shadow just by using the opposite color. This could be a sand dollar. I don't know. I have all the different shells that we're playing around with. Um, coral. Go back and add that pink. And that red and yellow. So this is kind of getting dry. So I could go back in <clears throat> the darker tone still. See? Little lines. Can add little teeny lines on the outside of it. Because you know those starfish just have these little spikes. Just tapping that. Look how pretty that looks. Right, and going back in here, adding a little pattern, darker depth on the inside of that shell. Kind of losing my voice. Just tippy tap. Just simple, delicate. This could be a sand dollar. I didn't even have that in the picture, but I'm just like, okay, that's an easy one. It's a round, and you do these little open patterns and you can kind of fill it in too. I'm going to water this color down a little bit, maybe add some more yellow. And then this dries, I go in and add my pen if I want to add the pen. Mixing all the colors. Let's make some more um, funky. I don't, I know I'll do one of these somewhere over here, but I'll do one of those spiral ones. I like those spiral shells. You didn't do like a periwinkle. Kind of reminds me of this. Do one over here. And you can kind of see the inside of the bottom. Like a snail shell. We used to collect those when we were kids at the beach. So I'm going to add some more blues. I'm not sure if I like this color that much. But I'm playing around with it. And that's what matters is that we play. You could just keep it all in pretty pastel colors and then go back in and add some line work. 
See, just taking that, filling that in. This will be many layers of color. So that's going to dry again, and I'll go back in with some blush tones again, or even some browns. You see, I'm going to grab the brown, kind of outline it. Just see, I'm just tapping, just kind of touching the little lines, going out here, the ones I drew. Everything's off register. This is all the fun things you can do with a watercolor. You just play with it. <laughs> this is another one of those shells. This one is kind of fun. It has like this funky pattern. To me, it looks like little dots. So you can play around with patterns. It don't have to be exactly like you see um, in the picture. So I'm going to grab some of this. This is cadmium red light. And there's that bright rose and some yellow. Combine all three of those fun colors. Throw in a little burnt umber. A little more pink. I get this nice kind of fun blush tone. So they look like little dashes and dots. Dot, 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 dot. We can just dash, 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 dash. All across. Look how pretty that looks. So it's mostly like I'm using mostly warm tones with the pinks. But then I threw in some cool tones. So it, it's nice. It's complementary. It's like mostly like it looks like blues and oranges, right? And blue and orange complement each other. So that's why this page doesn't seem like, ugh, and they're all in the same kind of value tone. They're not really intense with the darkness. This one's a little more dark, but you see how the values are kind of just all similar. So it has this nice pleasing look to the eye, right? That's how you kind of create some of this stuff. If you put an intense color, like if I grab this paint's gray and the burnt umber, and I start putting it, you'll see, you really see those intense colors. But I'm gonna keep more blue tones, deeper blues going across here. You can add little dashes, little dots to keep it interesting. Right, and here, got that blue with the brown. Keep it dark on one side. Just taking this brush, kind of going like this, holding it on its side. And you can kind of outline it with blue or brown, with a little paints gray. Now you don't have to use a um, an ink pen. You could just keep it like this for a doodle. I'm going. I'm trying to make this blue darker here. So I'm grabbing the blue, ultramarine blue with burnt umber. There we go. Now it's darker. See, just kind of tapping little lines, broken lines. Go back into this little guy. If you can see this on top. Oh my goodness! I don't even know if you can see this. I'm sorry. So it's a similar kind of shell. Just filled it in, just doing little lines. And then you can just do like lines that kind of coming around like this. This one I don't like. It's too boring, right? We got more depth with all these different colors. So I can go back in and I'll just play around with adding a little more blue and some browns. I'll go right over those lines I did. I don't like it. Could add a little of this orange yellow and see what happens. Yeah, a little better. And I have one down here. I didn't do yet. Um, I have so here's bluish tones. I could do blue on blue like I was doing these, or I can grab some of this blush and see what happens on top of that. Just making this funky little kind of like a scallop shell. So that's pretty. So we're layering with the color on top of this blue and where it hits this color that was all down here, it just creates a whole nother color. And I would let that dry. So this is all pinks upon pinks. But if you go and grab some blue, it will change it again. It'll be kind of more in the gray. So I'm taking ultramarine blue with a little bit of paints gray in there. It just changes the look. Right? You can even add some blue on the side here, put some shadow. Under here, some shadow. Right? And go back in here. Just fill your page. Saying a little blue. I'm not sure. I really don't like this particular shell that I did the first one. It's just funny. It happens a lot. Like once you get in the groove, then they come out nicer. That's how I feel. Now this one I'm going to go back and add some 
deeper blush tones. See, again, it's taking your time. Just putting some little lines here. You can do some dashes going across. It just adds more depth. These are just the fun things you can do when you're playing with your sketchbook and you're out of like what the paint the beginning of January I figured for the first tutorial of January let's do something fun let's get out like loosen up everyone's been vacationing and partying <laughs> so we're gonna just play with loosening up doodle wise grab some more pink in this one just going down on those lines again I could do some little dashes too on this one too. Depends on how you want to do it. Got some more bright pink in here too, combining it. This one's still damp, but I'm really liking what I did here, all these different colors. Might get a little bit darker on some of these, adding a little blue on top of my little dashes, just to give a little depth on that one side outline a little bit more but I'm liking the look and the tonality of everything this is still damp here I have to wait and I continue on the other side you can just continue you can go I didn't do a blodge in here a blodge <laughs> a splodge in here I kind of like kept them separate but I could have kind of gone right in between the papers to kind of connect them better right that would be a good idea. Going back and adding all this fun little, oh, let's do a spiral that's pink. I really like the spiral show. Just kind of filling that color in. You kind of want them to match. You know, if you have to move your paper and turn it around and all that fun stuff, go ahead and do that. There's the starfish. Like it's so off register and it's goofy and I like it. And I'm gonna fill it in like my other one. This creates a nice pattern. If you're really good with your computer, when you do these patterns, you can scan them in your computer. You can play around with them and turn them into like an invitation, a pattern for fabric. There's all kinds of sites that you can upload designs to and you can create your own kind of fabric or, um, shirt, you name it, you know. It's that little doodle look on the little spiral shells. I kind of feel like that's like my nemesis shell, the spiral one. I don't like painting that one as much. <laughs> Who knows? Everyone has something, right? So I'm going to go throughout those and finish those all up. I don't want to bore you with, you know, because I already showed you how to do it here. But I'll finish those up. This one's still a little damp, but I would go back with the colors and make some browns and some blues, maybe a little gray. Get those lines back in there to finish it up. Now, you can go in and take your nice fountain pen and give it a little extra detail. So, I'm gonna zoom in and hopefully I remember to zoom back out. <laughs> So go over those lines that you had sketched out. You can wiggle it. Put a couple of little lines. You're just taking little dashes of lines. It has a nice look to it though. See up in here. It has a nice beautiful sketch look. Don't have to do this. If you like the way it looked without the pen and ink, do that. I'm just gonna add just a little bit, just a little touch here and there. You get a little definition. You can go all out with the ink and add more. You can do some writing. You can write what the shells are right next to them. That would be really, really kind of cool. You can write, you know, if you had, if you're on vacation and you're just painting up all the shells that you see, in this kind of style and then you can write in your sketchbook the shells the names the place you're at you know kind of one of the entries in your sketchbook 
I'm just doing little dashes, no dots, to indicate this starfish has a texture. Fun stuff. This is it. This is really, shouldn't be something that's super difficult. Splotches go over it and it has a really pretty look. I mean, I really enjoyed painting this page, you know? I can probably do way more than that. So I hope this was fun and, you know, something that keeps you out of your box. And just remember, these are complementary colors too. See, did you notice that? I did it kind of haphazardly, but um, you can see how you can play around how they don't bother you so much. And so you get the blues and the oranges, right? Because orange is kind of blush tones here. So they're complementary colors and they just pop off the page. And you can put the same complementary color to add shadows to your color. So blue is a complementary color of orange. So mixing them together, they create nice shadows, vice versa. So if you did mostly all blues, that's fine too. If you did all blushes, if you did a variety of colors, heck, you could make it bright. You can do bright pinks and yellows and oranges, whatever you want. It's playing, it's having fun. So just painting a splotch and then painting on top and then adding a little details. That's all it is. Really, that's all it is. It's not that complicated. And the more advanced you are, the more advanced of the detail you would put in probably for the shell, right? And now you don't, you see, you know the shape of the shells that I have here. You have the reference photo. You don't have to make it perfect like these funky shells here. Um, just so that you know kind of what it is. That's all that matters, right? If you just want to paint a whole page of starfish, do that too. Just playing with color, getting used to it, and filling in your sketchbook with something different. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so excited about 2023 and all, all the things we're going to be doing. Just want to break into this one right now, just having fun with the little doodle, and we'll be starting off the year with all kinds of fun new stuff. So take care, and I'll speak to you soon.